there is one song in this that I cannot stop singing. The third You're Invited to Mary Kate and Ashley's short that I have watched is Costume Party, which was released in 1999, originally on VHS. And I have mentioned before, I grew up obsessed with the Olsons. I still very much adore them, but for whatever reason, I never saw these as a child. So I'm enjoying watching them now for the first time, and they're definitely cheesy, definitely peculiar, but a lot of fun. Costume Party gives a chance for a lot of different outfits to be worn, and basically, Mary Kay and Ashley are planning a party. They're exploring different costume ideas, and that was something that I thought was really great, because I've seen two before this one. I saw their birthday party, where there were a lot of outfit changes, and then I saw Mall Party, where there I think there was one outfit change and it wasn't quite as fun and as exciting whereas this one every song has a different feel and a different vibe and I really like that so the the narrative obviously works very well the same as the others they're planning a party they're talking about the options and then they execute the party and I will say the party theme they decided on I I don't know um the message was good the moral was nice but I was a bit disappointed that they didn't actually have a concrete answer to their query and I will discuss that towards the end just in case you don't want to know what party they eventually decide on. But the bulk of this is actually it's really interesting because apart from the first song and then the last song I think every song is performed by either Mary Kate or Ashley. There are only two other songs so I don't know why I say every other song but It starts off with Ice Cream Crazy, which is so addictive. They are in 50s costumes, poodle skirts, and they're in an ice cream parlour, and they're singing this song about ice cream. And the lyrics are, you know, I'm ice cream crazy, I'm an ice cream baby. And it's brilliant, and it's so addictive. And once I finished watching this, I went straight back and watched that song again. I like it. Their vocals are actually really good as well, which seems like a weird thing to say when this is a string of music videos but sometimes their vocals are not amazing but actually here I feel like the older song style really kind of blended well with their their voice their voices and that's something that I noticed at several points I was really pleased with that one so Ice Cream Crazy is definitely my favorite song in this one and probably my favorite out of the three you're invited to's that I've seen so far the second song is going through our mom's stuff and it is Ashley who sings this one I believe and basically she takes us through the different costumes that you can get from the 60s, 70s and 80s and there are a lot of costume changes here and we kind of get a whistle stop tour of the fashion from those time periods. And I think that that's really great because obviously this is aimed at younger viewers. This is not named aimed at 29 year olds and it's quite educational. I feel like everybody when they're in primary school or kind of around the age of eight, nine, ten, begin to learn about certainly the 80s and the mods and the rockers, but then the hippies and the 60s style. And I think it's just a really nice way of kind of exploring that really quickly. The song itself, eh, wasn't really that bothered about. The third and penultimate song is Honky Tonk Hip Hop and this is uh, Mary Kate in a cowgirl outfit and doing a bit of line dancing and I like it. I really like the song. I love kind of western music. Um, Maybe love's too strong a word. I really enjoy western music but I wish I could line dance. I really enjoyed this song as well. It's definitely my second favourite. And then the last one is Come As You Are. The song itself, didn't care for, wasn't that bothered about it. In fact, I don't even, if I try and sing the song in my head just now, I just, it doesn't really stick. This is the thing that I found both really positive and a bit of a disappointment. So this is, I guess, a spoiler. I'm about to discuss what party they decide on. They decide to have a Come As You Are party. The idea, I think, is great. They phone their friends, invite them to a party, and whatever they're wearing at that moment when they answer the phone is what they have to wear to the party. Now, I think that's pretty fun. If I were to contact, say, 10 people just now and invite them to a party, I'd absolutely go out of my way to contact people who I knew would be wearing weird clothes, um, you know, uniforms or, I don't know, <laughs> pyjamas, whatever. 
that that idea is fun. And the message is that you should come as you are, with who you are and what your personality is like. Don't worry about fitting in with a particular fashion or a particular style. But I was just disappointed that they didn't actually choose on a... They didn't end up having a costume party. Because as much as they tried to dress it up this way, I do not think a come-as-you-are party is classed as a costume party. So I was a bit disappointed that they didn't actually pick on or pick one. I think maybe they could have had a come as your favorite decade party that could have been interesting and each of the guests and the two twins picked their favorite decade that might have been a way around saying come as who you are but I feel like it was a cop out but I understand I understand what they were trying to do I do get the message they were trying to deliver I just didn't think it was that great nevertheless really enjoyed this one if I had to rank them the three that I've watched, the birthday, the mall, and the costume party, I'd say, ooh, I don't know, I'd say the mall one is third. It's a toss-up between birthday and costume. I'm not sure. Sorry, air bubble in my throat there. I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. I love Mary Kate and Ashley. Kind of glad that I don't have any memories of these as a child, because I'm having a lot of fun discovering for the first time as a, as an adult. If you like Mary Kate and Ashley growing up, check these out. I promise, for whatever reason, you will not be disappointed.